Hey, what's up? It's Be The Installer. I'm here to install a TV and a mantle over a fireplace and I'm going to show you how. So I'm actually here at the customer's location today to install a TV over a fireplace and they asked me if I could also install a mantle, which is a request that I get quite a bit. And so I'm going to show you the basics of just hanging one of these mantles, uh, reclaimed wood or ones that you can get on Wayfair um, that you can just buy and throw up. It's pretty easy to do and I think most homeowners can do it as well as hang a TV if you have my instructions. So first I wanted to show you the mantle here. It's from, uh, I guess it's Dogberry. It's about um, six feet long and we're going to use that to, uh, to hang over this fireplace. And then we have a nice 55 inch Samsung here. It's a nice new TV. I think this is a TV you can get at Costco for about three to four hundred dollars. You know, these Samsung TVs are really coming down in price. So it's a 55 inch and I'll show you more about that when we get it up here. And this is what I'm dealing with with regards to the fireplace. So uh, they want to have a good look. And as you can see, it's got a, a step up that's brick and there's not a ton of room above the fireplace. So to put this mantle and TV is not going to be the easiest as far as the spacing. Uh, there are some specific rules so you should check with your local code regards to how high the mantle should be above the opening and we're going to get rid of in the corner you can see we have a uh, direct tv they're also cutting the cord today uh, we're not going to be talking too much about that but they're going from direct tv to youtube so that's going to be a big savings for them and to be honest they're going to save twelve hundred dollars in the first year here and the first part about this is again always to put the mount on the tv and to see where it's going to sit and then you can do your measurements on the wall so we'll do that first and then we'll get back to this so as I said, the, the first part about this is putting this wall mount together. We have an Everstone wall mount uh, off of Amazon. It's WLT102MES. It's just a typical Everstone TV wall mount. It's, uh, it, it's one that you uh, it comes in a small box and you add this little piece to the side of it. But it's a pretty nice little mount. I use it a lot. So first, I'm going to open this up real quick. So we have the two brackets, uh, as we said before, these hooks that the mount's gonna connect to go up and then on the outside is the handle. So this would be how they go on, uh, they go on the TV. Uh, you gotta make sure these little, these little pull ropes are out of the way. These pull ropes are so that the bottom can disconnect when needed. So when you wanna take the mount off, you pull on these pull ropes and it releases the bottom. So we're gonna put these on the TV here and then we're gonna take this and see there's some screws in here that you pull these four screws out and you attach these for a wider base and then it can kind of hit two studs a little differently. Uh, you can just use this one piece if you have a, a 200 pattern like I have, you literally could just use this one 16 inch piece and that would be fine. We'll throw the bracket on here and then I'll show you guys the spacing for this mantle and TV on the wall. So everything is about measurement here. Uh, we're actually going to need to measure um, the mantle, the room that we have on the wall, and the TV. So first, let's just measure. This TV is 25 and a half inches tall. And the all important measurement when you're doing TVs is from the bottom of the TV to where this is gonna attach to the wall plate. So we're gonna call that 19. Okay, so 19 inches from the bottom up to this hook right here that's gonna grab the wall plate. Then we know where the top of the wall plate goes. So bottom to 19 and 25 is a top. So those are the three measurements that we need on the TV. Then when it comes to the mantle, I just wanna show you without it being so crazy here that the mantle here is just over five inches uh, in height. So five inches in height for the mantle. So we have the 51 inches of height here. We have the mantle that's gonna be about 16 inches up. So from, from there, we're gonna have a total of about 34 inches left with a 25 inch TV. So we're gonna have nine inches left and we're gonna try to do about four or five inches in the top and bottom. And in order to do that, I have to put the TV in this range right here, which puts us in a weird spot because this is brick, which I really didn't mention in earlier. And I'm gonna show you how to attach things to brick. Uh, but also the mount will be up in this area too, which has wood backing. So we're gonna actually use like a two by four to sit in this area to make it flat. And so then we're gonna have bolts going through that two by four into the wall wood and we're gonna have the bottom of it attached to the brick. And I'm gonna show you both of those. And then the mantle is gonna be all into the brick. And so the first thing is, we really gotta figure out how that mount's gonna fit. So I'm just going to go ahead and attach this mount and you guys will be able to see it.
So just to explain this uh, while I'm up here is I put two long screws in here that are holding this piece to the wall, but that's not all that's gonna hold it to the wall. We actually have some four inch lag bolts that are gonna go into the top of the mount that are gonna go through this wood, through this, uh, this paneling, and into the studs as well. All this is doing is creating space from this back panel to where our mount is. So this doesn't have to be a bigger board or it doesn't have to be a stronger board. All it has to do is create the depth that the TV mount can't fall into the wall. So now we have a nice flat surface here. I'll drive these two in and then I'm gonna show you how to drill into brick for all of the rest of the uh, install. There we go. So now the top is good to go and now I can drill into the bottom. For the rest of the install, uh, for the two bolts at the bottom and then two or three bolts for the mantle, we're actually gonna be using a Hilti drill and a one quarter inch drill bit so that we can put these one quarter inch light bolts into the, into the concrete. These bolts have special uh, threads on them to really suck tight into brick and to concrete. And I use these, I think they're rated for like a thousand pounds. So they're extremely strong and it's very straightforward what you do. Basically you just have to take a quarter inch bit on a Hilti, uh, a hammer drill of some sort. I have a Hilti hammer drill, this is the TE2. It's only a couple hundred dollars. Uh, I've had it for like five years. And we're gonna just drill straight into the, the brick. And then the same thing for the mantle, I'll show you how to do that. But first, we're just gonna drill in these two. So we drilled the two holes there, I'm gonna clean up. Normally I do a little better job of cleaning, but because I'm trying to do the video for you guys, it's a little messy today, but that's okay. So now we're gonna drive these anchors in. So we're good, this uh, hole here I made uh, kind of broke the brick a little bit because I'm at the top. I angled this one down more, it's, it's solid, so we're good to go. So this mount is completely solid. Uh, those anchors are extremely strong. I am not concerned at all for this TV. All we have to do is hang the TV. Now I'd like to put the mantle on and get that situated. So let's go ahead and get the mantle on. So here's the, the piece of wood that we're using for the mantle. It's gonna sit like this and so if you flip it around and look inside, it's hollow. So what you do is you put a, uh, a two by four on the wall and secure it, and then this then sits over that two by four, and it has screw holes that then screw down in and secure it so that once it's up there, this two by four is holding the weight, but then it can't fall off either because these screws pin down into that two by four. So really the, the important information is where do you want the top of this to be which we have here we have a mark okay and then the next thing is how thick is this this looks like three quarter inch plywood to me and it is so what we do is we measure three quarters inch down and that's where the top of that two by four needs to go so that when we put this back up it sits on there nicely in order to center this over the uh, the opening I just measure the opening so it's 44 inches We'll make a little mark at 22, which is half of 44. Again, math comes into play a lot when you do this work. And then we're gonna level it up to where we need it. And the opening is a little bit to the right of center on this wall. So we wanna make sure that the TV and the mantle look good over this opening. It's not quite as important that it's centered in this wall because if the mantle and the TV were not centered over this opening, the TV over here, Customers would definitely notice that. So you wanna go ahead and just use the middle of your opening over a fireplace and go up. So this is the center of the room, this is the center of the opening, not much difference, but for me, I'll use the center of the opening. So we have this two by four that is gonna hold up this mantle, and I have made a mark halfway to the middle there that's gonna line up with the mark on the wall. And so what I wanna do is I want to put it down a little lower to see where my three holes should be to attach to the brick. So I can see that the brick is solid right there, so I'm gonna put a hole right there on the right side. I'm gonna put a hole here in the middle, and then on the left side, right in, in the middle of this brick as well. So when I raise it up, we can see that those 
are all gonna be solidly into one of the bricks, okay? So now I'm gonna just make a hole. It doesn't matter really how big the hole is as long as it's not bigger than the head of, uh, of this uh, bolt. I, this is a quarter inch with a little bigger threads. I have a 516 drill bit here, so I'm just gonna make holes through this kind of in the middle of the board, maybe a little bit to the higher side so that, because when the weight's uh, pulling down on it, if it's in the middle or the bottom, it can kind of bend off a little. So if we put it a little above center, it doesn't, they don't all have to line up because I'm gonna hold them up to the wall and level it, and then we're gonna drill right through this. So I'll show you. There's one hole, two holes, and then again, this is the top now, so there's the third hole. So now what I can do is hold this up and I can use my Hilti drill and drill right through those into the brick and we'll have our hole set up. I can drill this hole and then level it. And as long as I'm comfortable with this middle spot being in the right height, that's what we want. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill right into the brick now. And now I'm going to go straight to driving this first anchor right into the middle. There we go. So that first one is done. And now I can go ahead and level it and then we're going to drill the other two and then we're going to put the anchors in for those two and we'll have a very strong base for this mantle to fit on. So we're pretty close right there, it looks good. Uh, can always change a little bit when you're drilling, so I'm gonna go ahead and drill this one over here. And then we'll drill this one as well. Let's double check that it's still right where we want it. It is, I'm gonna go ahead and drill this one. Same on this side. Okay, that thing is solid right now. So let's go ahead and check the level and the rest of this will be hand tightened. We're dead on right there. Tighten the center one. That's not going anywhere. Perfectly level. Now, all we have left to do is hang the TV hang the mantle and put the screws in. So I think what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna put the mantle up and then we're gonna screw into it. Uh, so let's do that now. So there's actually four um, holes, one, two, three, four. Four holes on there uh, to, to drive into this, um, to hold it on. I'm gonna measure center to this mantle. Again, it's six feet, so we're gonna make a little mark right at three feet. Just a slight little mark. So I have a little pencil mark on there and that way, now that we set it up, we know where we can set it up. They have the, some screws that came with it so we're gonna use those screws and drive it in with my impact. So it definitely would be beneficial to have two people. Luckily I've done it a few times before. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that up and we are going to drive these screws into the wood to hold it on. So hold it up nice and tight. There you go, that's one. And normally one will hold you there for a minute and I'm gonna put the rest of them in. There you go, so now it's on. We can check the level and see. Of course it's level, we did it, right? All right, so now that the mantle is finished, looking good, now we can put the TV up and start YouTubing. Looking pretty good. Luckily for us, there was already a power outlet up there. I'll be honest, adding a power outlet to a house on an exterior wall with brick and paneling would not have been easy. Probably would have gone through the attic and tried to come into this wall. But luckily, they put a power outlet up there before, so that's great. And so we're just gonna plug in and then we're gonna be using the smart TV for this Samsung. All right, so we're plugged in. The only thing we gotta do is get rid of these little uh, these little tags that hang down. This is a great install, it turned out great, so let's get a look at it from the front. All right guys, look at this. 
mantle, TV, look great over this brick fireplace. Let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure to leave a comment. Make sure to go ahead and pound the like button and let us know how you think about the video. And subscribe to get more videos like this. And just make sure to keep watching so you can be the installer.